What's going on, gamers? Today, we're going over some of the most important vanilla Minecraft server commands. As a server owner, it's only a matter of time before you need to make the use of commands. There are hundreds of commands available in the base game, and they can do anything from changing the time of day to completely killing every mob on the server. The commands may feel like cheating at times, but more often than not, they're essential for maintaining your server and keeping your players happy. You can run a command both in-game and through your server's console. To use a command in-game, always type a forward slash and then the command and hit enter. Otherwise, you can just type the command into your server's console without the forward slash to run it. Now, let's go over a few of the most important commands that you're going to need to know about. First, if you use the help command, it's going to show a full list of commands available on the server, or it can give you information about a specific one. If you use the give player amount command, it'll give a player any item in the game. Leave the amount field blank and it'll give a full stack of the item. The weather command changes the weather in the world. There are four types to choose from, rain, thunder, snow, and clear. Game mode player is going to change your game mode, or you can add a player's name to change their game mode instead. There are four game modes to choose from, which are survival, creative, spectator, and adventure. The summon command immediately summons an object to your location, and the time set command allows you to set the time of day on the server. You can use values like day or night, or you can set a specific time using ticks. The XP add player amount command gives XP to yourself, or to a certain player if you want to do that. Next, the locate biome command is going to tell you where the nearest biome of your choice is. The command perf is going to run a short debug function for 10 seconds. This is going to create files for you in the server's debug folder that will give you a detailed overview of what's happening on the server, which can be particularly useful for diagnosing lag. The save all command causes the server to create an automated backup. You're limited to two automated backups at a time, so previous ones will be overwritten. You can view your backups from the backups tab of your server control panel. The stop command will automatically cause your server to start shutting down, and the restart command will shut down the server and then restart it after a few minutes. World border is a series of commands that allows you to create and set a border in your world, and game rule value is a super powerful command that will allow you to change the base rules in your world. For example, if you want to stay in daylight 24 seven, you can use the game rule do daylight cycle false command. Another pretty important command is the ban user command, which adds the username that you choose to your server's ban list. This is going to prevent that user from joining your server again. That being said, if you make a mistake, you can always use the pardon command, which will unban them from the server. The clear username command is going to remove all of the items from your inventory, or you can add a player's username and it'll remove their inventory instead. Of course, the OP command grants a user operator permissions. After using this command, the user will have access to all of the other commands on the server. You cannot opt yourself in game with this command and you have to use it in the console. And if you want to take away that power, the opposite of the op command is deop. This command is going to remove operator permissions from a user. Difficulty allows you to change the difficulty of your server. There are four difficulty levels that you can use, peaceful, easy, normal, and hard. And finally, the seed command allows you to view your world's current seed. If you click on the seed after it's displayed, it will automatically be copied to your clipboard. Now, before we go over some common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. If you get an error saying you don't have permission to use the command, it means you're trying to run a command when you're not opt on the server, or you haven't been given permission to use it by the server owner. You can follow our related guide on how to opt yourself to get around this issue, or you'll have to contact the server owner to give you access. If you receive something like an invalid argument or a similar error, it's usually because there's a typo or because you're not using the command correctly. You can reference back to this guide to make sure you have the correct command and arguments added, or if you're in a later update of the game, it will automatically start filling the command for you, and you just have to press the tab key to cycle through your options. 
When you're a server owner, you're going to use commands eventually. So this is a great guide to get started on the most important ones that you're going to use on a daily basis. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.